to welcome back to another video test me for Halo today we're gonna be doing what we left off the last time so let's get straight to it right here here we go Archer where is Humboldt I tried to console him but he pushed me away I love the boy I do but I fear what would happen if he took his father's title He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire, until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. All right, before we go do that, I'm actually going to change my outfit real quick. Eivor, yeah. I'm pleased you came. Oh, that's some food about the water. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. 
Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Got a new bow. We got a new bow. And it's weaker than what I got on right now. But since they want me to use it, we're going to use it Great just for this. Been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. Uh, here we go. Sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? I was a laugh, Like the one though. carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Hunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elfgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Let's see. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes. And how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? Well, I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well. And itching for a hunt, as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? Yes, the way. There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. Oh, snap. be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle it. Please! My god, help me with it! Here we go. Oh, you you 
Oh yeah, sit down. Oh, wrong way. Move. Stop Put the staff down. Just two of y'all left. See you burn or dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! You gotta be kidding me right now. You saw this bear strong, this bear weak. I just took it up. Like one attack. Sit. Sit, boy. You a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant! I guess. Alright, we're gonna do this one now. What a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Never mind, drunk. Contemplate. You don't know what he's on, man. Be easy with your grief, Unbold. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. 
for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness, but let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting. And I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A white old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. She has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? I don't know. We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing oh like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. Know. And the contents of your gut. Before I let it pass, Humboldt, I spoke with Alfgar before this. He gifted me a weapon of your father's. Should I find that odd? Hmm, I, I'm not sure. They often went hunting together, so it's not strange that he should have something of my father's. You don't want it yourself, as a memento mori? No, no. You're better suited to such gifts. I'm a talker, not a fighter. Now come. And enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come <laughs> to England at all? Uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ha! Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by... What was that? Birds, Abel. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Squad. There ain't no birds. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Abel, I am sweating from head to toe. Do not leave me here. Hush. Stay calm. How did it go? Oi! Bloody heathen. Shut up. 
Where you at? Now, nah, boy. Bad at this. Very bad. Oh man. Oh yeah. Yo. They've tried to kill you all, and twice failed. We had luck, but if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead, and they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunvald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Let's go. Hunvald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. So while we're doing this, if you're new to the channel, yeah, but you have watched a couple of our videos, and sometimes you get to subscribe to the channel now is the time to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you can receive any future content. Okay, we're here now. Yeah. Oh, thank the heavens! There she is! Hundval! I thought for sure you'd be dead! Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. 
Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. The Shire mood will start soon. I should return. Alright. I'm going fast travel. Archer, is there a the Shire moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. Alright, we're gonna speak Madison, there, how buddy. Are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. Okay. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He is learning fast. Good man. Oh, we got a couple of people to solve, too. A vote for Hunwald will return. Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Link. I don't doubt you. He didn't help him at all. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Dringer. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. Return the house of the ferocious oh, well, to its former glory. Oh, we got two more people to talk to. How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and buzz. You must have ice. That's good to hear. He ain't gonna help. <coughs> so we'll see. Bishop ain't gonna help. Bishop, Abel, I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test under my guide. God knows the love. I'm pretty sure I know who I'm going to vote for already, though. Yeah. 
Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. I'm not going to pick the bishop. He's not going to be good for us. <coughs> Alfar, he will. Hunval, definitely. I think I'm going to pick Hunval, though. Hunval is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. All right, hold on, before we choose. I'm most likely going to pick Hunval, though. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? I'm faithful. Humvald is not the most. Both go along. Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful Shiremoot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed. No. This Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, okay. and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one this cure. Right Your here. grace. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, oh, what is that? Mean? Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! Yes, I am. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Shit. What are you? Oh, yeah. Damn. Whack in your head. Damn. Hold on, hold on, you need to do that. No. Get on. Oh. Hey man, you still didn't even move there. You're on the way. Yeah. 
gonna find a way out. This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The ultimate seed is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. You won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. attack and in the broad daylight what news Humboldt? we've learned that herivrith rode for the fort at anicastri following the massacre i have assembled a fiat there quite a large one in fact they eagerly await your orders eivor you mean your orders selderman ah yes that's right my orders which are which are what exactly who can say ride with me to your camp and we'll find out together Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herivrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft, but stranger still. I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Humboldt. One verse of our song remains unsung. The den of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. 
I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. Here's the captain. Uh, here the feared will soon be our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chief de Naval, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? We attack now. Ready the feared. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Here's the... Mm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. This time, last time I did it like that. This time, since we ain't got the best army, I'm gonna help them get through.
need die today he he's he's in the chapel there hiding away scamperous coward let no one leave that church without facing judgment Circles and shit on This is what I'm fucked up, bro. Where is he running from? Bro, stop playing with me. He keep playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. Of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hiravrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Right, right, 
really people have been running around this whole damn castle and he lost his mind. Like, what I look like chasing you. Bishop dead. He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. Fought well, ferocious swan. Notched a few scars in your baby fat today. Yes, but they will heal. And stronger than before. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it! I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranty. Let's tell her the good news. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get the content. Have an awesome day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.